Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to shade every other row in Excel, like and subscribe, support this channel, let's get started. You must agree that it's very inconvenient to read data in this form. A shaded view is preferable. To shade alternating rows in Excel, use conditional formatting or apply table style. First, let's use conditional formatting to shade highlight every other row in Excel. For example, select the range from A1 to J40. Thus, we select a certain range. To highlight the entire worksheet, click the Select All button here in the left corner. OK, next on the Home tab, select Conditional Formatting. Here we create a new rule. In the window that opens, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format, and we enter this formula. How this formula works? The mod function returns the remainder of the division, and the row function returns the row number of the cell. A2 is a divisor. If the row function returns an odd value, it's 3, 5, 7, and so on, when dividing these values by 2, we will always have a remainder of 1, which means that the formula doesn't work and the cell is not shaded. If even well is 2, 4, 6, and so on are returned, the remainder after division will be 0, and these even cells will be shaded. Select the format, fill, favorite color, and click OK. If the first method doesn't suit you, apply table style to quickly colorize the alternating rows. The table is not only beautiful, but also a useful tool, which I describe it in more detail in this video. OK, select any cell within the range, on the Home tab in the Style group, click Format as Table, choose the table style that you like, the appearance doesn't affect the functionality, we check whether the range is selected correctly and click OK. And that's how we get shaded alternating rules, but also a very convenient tool, a table. To return the table to the usual range, select any cell inside the table and then click Convert to Range button. Now we have the usual range, and to remove the shaded rows, select any empty cell and then click Format Painter and select the desired range. That's all, now we know a little more, thanks for watching.